Ah. Hi everyone, welcome back to Katarina's Garage. My name is Katarina Lloyd, and this is my 1981 Ford Mustang. And, well, we're going to see if she'll start nicely. So, I actually had to replace the Optima battery with uh, the battery from the Capri. I have the Optima charging just to see if that'll make a difference, but, uh, yeah, I gotta go deliver some cash to a friend because I sold the carburetor for him. So, um, if you saw my uh, thing actually on that quick fuel card, yeah, I got it sold, and it's nice when easy deals like that happen, and I don't have to deliver it. But the cool side of this car, it's actually pretty easy. Um, I just go one, two, three, four. Oh, really? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I've got to draw in this car. Because, listen to the battery. It's not going to start. I've got a consistent draw somewhere in this car. That would explain things. About the Optima, because the Optima is actually fine. My battery tester says it's fine. Hmm. All right, well, looks like I'm, uh, crap. This sucks. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, uh, see, now, God, that is a nightmare to try and find that, you know? Hmm. I wonder if that did it. That may have done it. But I'm not going anywhere in this car. At least not until I swap the battery, which is not that hard to do. Or I might just take the Capri out. I just have to be careful because it doesn't have winter tires on it. But yeah. Anyways, cold start failed. I don't want to kill the battery, so. All right, so Stitch is not going to start, which that's a new one for me, but there is an electrical draw from somewhere. I think I figured that one out. But for now, I'm just going to take the Capri out, and we're going to see if it's going to start. I mean, I should. This battery is freshly charged up and ready to go. So, um, yeah, I think that's what was killing the Optima. I think the Optima is actually fine. My battery tester says it's okay. So, anyways, let's see how this thing will start. It's only like minus 9 degrees outside, so it's really not too bad. But, uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, I was close. One, two. One, two, three. Oh, come on. One, two. Oh, she's not happy. But. There we go. I'm just having to hold it down because the cold idle is not working on this stupid thing. I don't know why, but that's fine. But I do have the carburetor in the back of this car for it. Yeah, see, so like, cold idle is not working. So I got to do it myself. But yeah, like, the other carb is literally right there. I install that and it should be a lot better, but yeah. Cold idle circuit, not working. Fun times. <laughs> 